Today I'll take you through how I clean my white seamless paper backdrops in Photoshop. Don't forget this same technique can be applied to any color backdrop of your choice. This is the final result we are going to achieve from this tutorial. Welcome back guys, this is Ghana Near Photography and my name is Don Alabi. Now this image we have here has been raw processed in Capture One already. Now, I have a tutorial on how I raw process my images. I'll add a link in the description down below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you don't get to miss any of my future uploads. Now let's go straight to today's tutorial. By looking at this image, we can see some empty space up here which has the curtain and this is not part of the backdrop and down here we have um, this uh, i don't know what to call it but we are going to clear all these things and then clean the back now let's just zoom in and then take a look at the floor this is what we have it's kind of dirty now this in reality it's much more dirtier but because i because of how i place my lights i have a uh, one light somewhere here that um, lights the floor so it takes away some of the dirt before i post process so we'll go ahead and then work on this image first thing is i want to clear the top and bottom here so the first thing i'll do is um, just use the market tool that's uh, this tool up here the rectangular market tool i use shortcuts a lot so you guys should bear with me select the area i want to correct like this and then we go to edit fill and we are going to use content aware fill to clean that place it's easier that way we could have used the spot healing brush or any other method i have a tutorial also on how to extend your backdrop the link will be down below in the description so don't forget to check it out if you don't know how to do that yet so i'll click on ok and this is content aware so it will try recreating whatever is there with what it thinks should be there most of the time it works well sometimes too it doesn't so here we are see neat job very very neat now we'll do something similar to the bottom here but because we have um, let me show you if we try using the same technique with the market to, to select here it will select part of a foot and we don't want that so we use a different approach we just use the spot healing brush to achieve the same thing so it also does content aware so you just select a reasonable size you can do this you know little by little but i just want to have just one sweep at a go so let's just wait for this and see what happens here we are it did a great job apart from just some few places here okay so let's zoom out this is our image this is way better than what we brought in so i'll just create an empty layer and then work on that so this empty layer okay now i'm going to use the same spot healing brush to take away some of the visible blemishes on the floor before we even go into what we want to do today so with that let's just take away some of these um, visible spots you can go ahead and then do what we want to do today but then i just prefer to have you know a cleaner backdrop before even doing what we intend doing today now we have this image after doing a preliminary cleaning so i'll just go ahead and merge this so we have our background layer again we have various ways of selecting the whole thing is we are going to select the background separate it from the subject or whatever is in the image apart from the background so we want, we want to separate the background from the other elements of the picture so i use the magic wand because it selects faster 
so just click on any empty space and then click now in this case we have you know more whites in the dress so the selection will not be that perfect but then we'll work around it so hold down shift see the pointer here there's a plus sign added to once you hold down shift so it means i want to add more selection so just click more in the empty space to select more of the background as i said it's selected part of a dress but we don't mind for now so i'll just zoom in so i can get more of the backdrop in the selection my main focus is on the backdrop and as i said people have um, other means of you know selecting stuff people use the pen tool because they want it very accurate and all that but i use the magic wand because it's faster for me now i'll go ahead and ignore all these things all right i could just fix it but i don't need it now so i'll just ignore and then select all these parts so now we have um, a selection of majority of the background since that's where my focus is right click and then go to layer via copy so we are creating a new layer from our selection so if i disable the background layer you see anything grayed out means it's out of the selection so it has selected my backdrop for me my main focus is down here i want to clean the dirt here so i don't mind whatever it selects in addition once it has majority of what i want to clean i'm okay so we bring this back now we've selected the background so now we need to separate the subject and the other elements from the background so what we will need to do is go back reselect the person and all that will take a lot of time so since we already have the background selected when you hold on command on your macbook i'm using a macbook so command on the macbook or um, control on win any windows machine and then click on this it will automatically give you back your selection now what it has selected is what uh, we the selection that we did so we need to invert it to get um, the subject and then the other elements apart from the background so we just right click and then select inverse so the selection changes to the subject and then the other element, leaving out the backdrop in this case the selection that we've inverted is going to be empty because in this layer one it's only the backdrop so we need to click on the background so because that that background has the information that we need so the same thing we right click and then layer via copy so if we disable the background layer we still have the image there because now we've separated now let's just take the background away so you see this is the, without the background this is the background without the subject so we've successfully separated the background from the subject and the other elements so let's go ahead and re-enable these and then we need to bring the background layer back let's just rename these layers so that we can refer to them with their names so this we call it backdrop so we call this one subject now we have our layers named accordingly we are going to use the gaussian blur to get what we need now this is where the whole magic happens so you work around this radius here until you're okay with the results so just look down here See, as we increase the number the bottom here gets blurred that's what takes away then now if you go all the way to the maximum you will get uh, some effect but that might not be what you want so just play around it what works for me might not be what will work for you so just play around till you find what works for you with the focus being that it has to look real not fake so I think somewhere here works for me 37.4 I'm not saying you should also use 37.4 just zoom in and then see how it works for you and so far so good I think this is okay for me so I'll just click okay and here we are and as you can see 
the effect has affected the dress which we don't want but that's easy we can just work on it now if you look at the bottom here everything is clean but it looks a bit flat like fake like she's been cut and then placed on so we are going to work on that now we create a layer mask at the bottom here you see this click on it to create a new layer mask now I believe you know how layer masks work if you don't let me just explain quickly if you use a layer mask it means you're trying to limit the effect to certain areas so if you have a layer mask of white like in this case it's white which means everything is showing so if you want to hide something you use a brush which has a black color to hide so black hides and then white reveals the same way if this layer mask was black then you use white to reveal it so depending on the size of uh, what you're working on what you want to reveal or what you want to hide you you know have to decide on what layer marks whether black or white in this case what i want to clean now is smaller than what i want to maintain so i'll maintain the white layer mask and then use a brush i'll pick a brush and then change the color of that to black so you see it's black now if i paint black on white it's going to hide the effect so i'll start from the bottom here i'll just zoom in so i can see everything here now if you take away this see you can see where the bleeding is where you know the thing has affected what you don't want to be part of it once in a while we we'll just enable and disable the background layer so we'll be guided on what we are doing so with a black brush at a flow of 20 percent we'll go ahead and then start brushing to bring back those details so you can see already the heel is coming back I'm just brushing at the edges gently with a flow of 20% to bring back some of the details. Some of the shadows here, I'm bringing them back. Just like this. So I'll just um, go through this quickly and then show you guys the result once I'm done. All right, we are back here and as you can see, we have a clean image. So we'll go ahead and then merge all these together. Press uh, Command E on your MacBook, Control E on your Windows machine and that's to merge down all the layers. So we have this clean image. It doesn't look that fake because we still have the shadows working on. That's the difference, you know other people do it and then they want the whole floor to be like white and with this you can also pick your brush and then with or you can use an adjustment layer to paint some people like the whole background to be white which isn't that realistic because obviously the bottom has people stepping on and then this top here is just hanging so you don't expect the top and bottom to have the same color do you know of any other way this same thing can be achieved or is there anything i left out which you think would be helpful let me know in the comment section below have you used this method and has it helped you in any way let me know in the comment section also i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for watching